Hello and welcome back. I am Big Squirrel, this is Tim Tim, and this is the first content update for the Arbory cycle of stuff that Tim Tim is doing. There is a lot of new things, <laughs> not really new Tims or places to go, stuff like that much. And there are a few things that I'm not going to be getting into in this episode. Uh, anything that involves clubs, because I'm not in one. <laughs> I just don't have the time to, to play this game with all the other stuff I do. But we do have mounts that we're going to get into, stickers, and the storage expansion-y stuff. It, <laughs> I'll get into why that one's super relevant in a minute. Everyone comes back to the Prancing Minox Inn. Welcome back, dear patron. Come in, have a pint. It looks very ancient. Well, it's been extensively refurbished by my parents before me, and we had some work done a few years ago, but yes, it's a very old building. Almost four centuries old. It predates Arbory Uni by four or five years. Are those Minox for sale? Ah, discerning connoisseur, I should let you know that these, my dear friend, are not your run-of-the-mill Minox. My family has been breeding them as mounts for generations. You're saying I can ride a Minox? No, I'm saying my family has been breeding them for generations, like... That's what I just said, actually. Sure, sure, but can I ride them? Well, yes, of course. Why didn't you start there? So, would you be interested? Absolutely. Great stuff. If you're going to mount that fine beast over there, the first thing you'll need is a saddle. Get yourself one from the stables, that door. Um, okay. Ooh, the building's no longer a work in progress. That is awesome. So where do we need a saddle? This saddle looks a bit... Uh, small for my derriere. I'm gonna have to ask for a bigger one, huh? Why didn't we start there? You here for the riding? Of course you are. How can I help? New spurs? You wanna book a guided Minox ride to the forest? Uh, we're gonna need a bigger saddle. <laughs> I see. Uh, let me see. Turn around. Hmm, yeah, you definitely need a bigger size. Where do I find one? Ordering a new one from scratch might take too long, so I suppose you need to find someone your size and borrow one from them, so... Hmm, I have an idea, but... You're not gonna like it. Or rather, she won't like it. Say the name, I'll convince her. So, don't tell her I said this, please, but I'm thinking about a certain Lady Romanescu who lives in Properton and, um, has the... Adequate proportions? Yeah. Uh-oh, this is gonna be shenanigans, right? Don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, fair enough. We were warned. But that's actually not super far away, and also I can cheat and just teleport over to Properton. Right, that's where I'm going? Yes, in Properton. <laughs> oh, wow, that was super fast. Usually that loading screen has, has taken a long time. Uh, where exactly here do I need to go, though? Right down here. I almost had my mouse on it. Southeastish from the Tim thing? Yeah, that was just like two minutes of running. So I figured nobody really wants to see that, especially when I have nothing to say. Hello, miss. Oh, I know who you're supposed to be a reference to. Even though I've never played that game, I understand. Yes, I don't like strangers in my house unless they're my dear, dear guests, of course. Um, can I borrow your saddle? That is a bold proposition. I do hope you're ready to back it up with some spine tamer thing tamer ta tamer thing tamer thing um yeah this is definitely resident evil lady was it dominescu something like that i've only ever seen the memes i'm not really into that and these are mental types okay well <laughs> it's a good thing we have you out here already let's go for that one yeah there've been some other updates and things. There's been some tweaks to some abilities and whatnot. Uh, I'm not sure what, if any, moves that my Tims have would be nerfed, but uh, I did see that there were a lot of tweaks to Tims that have, or uh, Tim moves that are like a base of damage of 100 or higher, but they don't have any kind of uh, hold to them. Okay, Beta Burst would be one, but I don't think it was messed with. Let's see. Let's go Lifeful Sap. Uh, not Lifeful Sap. Resin Trap. That's the one. Um, and you can just keep doing what you're doing, man. Crystal Spikes, I'm glad to see. It doesn't... I don't think it was changed at all. Keena will be fine. 
I think we're just going to be able to stat our way through this one. Uh, I wasn't prepared for a fight. I thought there might be one, but I don't have... <laughs> I don't have access to some of my level 100 Tims because alongside the storage expansion quests coming into the game and they like doubled the amount, the maximum amount that you could have by, uh, yeah. It went from, I think it's 300 Tims you could store to 600. But, uh, because of course there is a but to this. Um, <laughs> you have to do the quest. They, they actually cut down how much you have to start with. So, uh, it's like half of my storage boxes are cut off right now, and all my level 100 Tims are in the 10th box. So, uh, I, I just have a, a random... Oh, man. I totally forgot your name, and I am so sorry for that. Cypat. I kept thinking Cypunk, and I don't know why. Um, also, we need something that would be good against these dudes. I'm gonna go size much, even though, you know, the whole mental versus melee is not good. Not melee. What? You, whatever it is. Punchy boys. Is it melee? I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Size much should be able to just come in, charge up a big move, and beat whatever. Okay. Ooh, overexerted? I was not thinking about that. I think Tortonite can just sit there, right? Yeah, I think you're good. I don't think I need heat up either. These things are lower level. You can just chill, my dude. Tortonite is just so thick, especially with the uh, heavy armor, whatever it is, item. Nice. Oh, that's not going to be good. Not terrible, though. Huh. A little surprised. A Pocus? Okay. Let's see. That's not going to be good. I forget what this does. Oh, yeah. That's just to clean yourself up. Let's just do heat up. Why not? Ooh. Do I want to just... Do I want to doom them, or do I want to... Nah. Let's just go ahead and win. Doom would take too long. It's four turns of sitting there waiting for them to die, and we'd probably kill them faster than that. For example. Why not? It doesn't really matter if we overexert or anything. We're just gonna win. I'm pretty sure. I was correct in the confidence this time. Nice. You certainly are persistent. Yes. Yes, I am. I, I need to settle. Very well, you can have the thing. Now, out of my house, tamer thing. Got a borrowed saddle. Got the saddle. Let's get back to the inn owner. That we will. And I am teleporting back over there, which probably won't take that long to do, will it? I gotta say, I... Short-range teleports used to... Oh, we need... Yeah, we'll just talk to you. Short-range teleports used to still take a long time. Now it's just like a, a quick cut thing and it is it is so cool it is saving me time in the off-screen stuff that y'all aren't gonna see anyway come on do the talkies do the talk 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 there we go hey that's a fine looking saddle those initials ar oh you didn't you stole it oh, hell hath no fury oh well it's your funeral let's get you mounted up hand it over the borrowed saddle it fits perfectly now there's only the matter of payment of course what this isn't free you're a tamer, aren't you? Do you give away your best and most carefully trained Tim Tim to anyone who comes asking? You don't, do you? Absolutely not. 
I ask only for enough to keep this ranch afloat, a minotaur in good health to keep the breeding going. I'm not greedy, you see. I'll come back later. No rush. Oh, that is annoying. Okay. I should... I thought there might be something involved in this. Um, I don't have a Minotaur, though. I, I do have a Minox. Sorry, Saipat, you're out. Let's reshuffle these just for my own mental benefits here. All right, looks like I need to go and level this thing up a bit. You know what? You go there, and I'm going to heal up. And then I, I'll go level real quick, get the ev evolution going. Then we'll come back and do the trade. We are all Minothored up and ready to go. It fits perfectly. Now, there's only a matter of payment. Yep, yep. Um, Do the thing. I have it. I have it. Here you are. Great, may I see it? Here, yours to keep. This one. Yes. Hand it over your Minothor. Ah, oh, beautiful beast. Yes, this will add some more stamina to the breed. Yes. So come with me and mount up. Got a Minox steed. Aha! Riding a mount with alternative button allows you to run faster and avoid all Tim Tim untamed encounters too. Nice. It also works on water, replacing your surfboard with a cool new one. Ooh! Ooh, that's cool. Okay, so does that mean I just... What is my alternative button? Hold on a second, I gotta figure this out. Alright, in case you're looking for it, it's control... Uh, well, this... No, it does it normally says to uh, change the things. My alternative button is X. Oh, I've got a little baby, little cow person to ride around. Well, not cow person. Oh, that is cool. So now I can run through like whatever. We need to find is where's the nearest water bit that I can get into. Nothing near me. We'll figure that out in a second then. I need to go somewhere else anyway. Uh, Dennis, was it? Yes. We're going to do the storage item quest, and we're going to see what this Minox surfboard looks like. Nice. And it's in here. So, where do I do this quest? Is it you? Ah, new tamer. So, hi, I'm basically the guy who deals with Tim Tim slot allocations around here. I don't think you're registered with us yet. Um, how can I register? Just let me sign you up with your tamer ID card. There, big squirrel, right? Welcome to our system. Uh, how does it work? Basically, we allocate slots for your store Tim Tim. Tim Deck storage space doesn't grow on trees, you know. So we want to tailor it to each tamer's needs. Some casual tamers only need a few, and then there's the dojo pros who need a lot. I can see you're a serious tamer, so let's get you started. Just a couple of clicks and I'll get you a few more slots, bear with me. You obtained additional slots for storing Tim Tim in your Tim Deck. And done! Now you have 120 slots in your Tim Deck. Tomorrow I'll be at the Nanga Temporium. Come see me if you need more slots. Oh, that's going to be... I'm going to need to do this how many times? Also, where did I... Oh, that's right. I just... We're going to have a random Tim in here. So I need to go to another one. Joy of joys. <laughs> yeah, they did this so that as people are starting the game... Also, we need to go here. Okay, I see how to get up there. But we're going to check out the Minox thing too. Um, boop. Ooh, I like that can't see it super clearly, but that is definitely a Minox head. Nice. Okay. I look forward to this. And whatever new ones they introduce, I'm I'm stoked for that. But yeah, they introduced this... Right? I need to go up there. <laughs> I'm so distracting to myself. It doesn't kick you off your mount when you go up somewhere. Okay. Anyway, again... <laughs> They introduced the storage stuff so that it would make more sense for people that are just starting out and you'll get more as you catch Tim's. So for those of us that, you know, have finished the game and are now, you know, going back to get these things, it is going to be a lot of running around, I'm pretty sure. Thanks again, dude. You're a true friend of science. Okay, you're not the one. Are you the one? Dude, this place is insane. The house? Yes, we're so high above it. It's scary. Imagine if this little overhang just fell and it came crashing down on it. Oh, it makes me dizzy. Wait a minute. Where am I supposed to go? It's in the building down there. I'm in the wrong place. Okay, that was way too fast. I paused the recording because <laughs> I was thinking, oh, I, you know, there's possibility of all these little things taking up time, the, the random battles. No, that doesn't happen when you're on a mount. I don't need to worry about that anymore. That's amazing. 
Ah, oh, Finn is a Ninus kid. You're such a grown-up now. A big squirrel, was it? Uh, welcome to my humble abode. I suppose you've come to admire my collections. Uh, is there anything you don't collect? Well, there is one thing that has been on my mind a lot, and so far it has eluded all my efforts. Have you ever heard of Stick Tim stickers? Uh, never. What are those? Oh, they were a legend back in my time. Uh, we used to collect them. Every kid had their own Stick Tim album. They were all the rage. They're discontinued now. They went out of print almost 30 years ago, and now they're as rare as rubies. And every once in a blue pants on, I managed to find a single sticker. And most of them damaged beyond repair. But I'm in no shape to keep trotting around the whole archipelago chasing leads on stick tim hordes like when I was younger. Not to mention that I was never a keen flyer. Airships gave me the cold sweats. Uh, perhaps I can give you a hand? You'd be so kind. I knew old Ina raised you right. Well, it would be great if you could be my eyes and hands out there. Give me a minute, let me find it. Got a Stick Tim album. This is a new thing, getting stickers. Uh, this vulnerable out-of-print tome holds your budding collection of vintage Tick Tim... Stick Tim stickers. Tick Tim? I'm not good with the words right now. Here, handle it with care. It's an authentic Stick Tim album and in mint condition. I never found any stickers in a condition worthy enough for it, but by all means, stick in any good ones you find. Just make sure they're in good condition, mind you. We don't want to spoil this pristine album with torn, dirty, or damaged stickers. It was hard enough to find. So keep your eyes peeled, and if you see something shiny out of the corner of your eye, check it out! Leave no stone unturned! You know what? You can keep the album. Really, I, I don't need to own it, but it will bring joy to my heart to see you fill it. So, what do I do with damage stickers? Keep them, just in case. I've heard there's a secondary market for lesser collectors who buy faulty stickers. So with the right contacts, you might still make a pretty penny from them. Oh, th thank you. I'll complete the collection, maybe. I'd love to see the collecting bug passed on to a new generation. Please come back and show me your collection as it grows, and I'll make sure to make it worth your while. I have plenty of trinkets you might like. So, yes, there is also... <laughs> There's also the sticker system, and I'm immediately back on the mount. That is awesome. Uh, we need to find stickers, which can, from what I understand, show up pretty much anywhere. So <laughs> that that makes it both awesome and kind of terrible. Let's see, we need to go to Nanga for this next dude. Where was Nanga? Who am I? What is happening? I'm pretty sure that's here. <laughs> oh, it's been so long! So I do want to show... Oh, okay. We do have to get back on the mount if we do the fast travel. Got it. Uh, I... Where do we need to go in here? Just the Temporium? Yes. I don't know where all we're going to find stickers. I There's not really information out there right now, of course, because this is new. Uh, all I know is that we can find them kind of randomly around. And... It's important to collect them because there's gears different kinds of, you know, like, items you can equip your Tims with as you collect more. So, yes. <laughs> I'm hoping to run across some as I'm doing this Tim deck stuff. But we'll see. Ah, Big Squirrel, you're going places, I see. My, you look taller since the last time we spoke. Really? And you've caught more Tims, right? Uh, let me get you a few more Tim deck slots. Obtained more stuff. And there, now you have 180 slots at your disposal. I'm sure you'll fill them in no time. Mmm... How many do I get now? How many boxes am I at? Can I get my old stuff back? No, I cannot. Dang. Okay. Oh, my precious, precious babies. Um, not that I have a whole lot of level 100s, of course, but... I do have some. Um, and it just says next island. Which one was next? Because we didn't just go straight around, did we? We kind of did, didn't we? Let's go here and see maybe Quetzal? Yeah? Very quickly see. Yes. Okay. So we can just run over and get that. And I'm not seeing anything on the ground. I'm kind of going to assume that it'll be a little harder than just running around cities to find these stickers. It certainly would make it a lot more interesting. And this is something that I have seen brought up already. Uh, people are not huge fans of some of the sticker stuff. Um, having 
like really important gears, like really useful ones locked behind a sticker system that you you don't get to collect them all on your own. You have to trade for them. And something that I'm going to show at the end, the new auction house stuff, you can't trade stickers on there yet, as far as I know. So it does make it more difficult to finish these collections to get these gears, which maybe they'll make some changes on that. Hopefully they will. Big Squirrel, I had no idea you were coming to Tecma. Uh, I need some extra Timdex slots, please. <laughs> you know, I've done this before. Sure, let me fill out this form for you. Um, okay. All done, you've been allocated some extra Timdex space, so now you can use a grand total of 240 slots. I really hope that helps with whatever it is you're doing. It, uh, doesn't yet. I mean, I've got... I know 10 is going to be the 300 mark. Oh, we gotta get it one or two more and then we'll start getting into the new expanded boxes so next would be Kasiwa, i guess Uhuru. i'm really glad that these have so far been in the zero cost ones oh please be here somewhere nope nope you're not in this one so i was wrong it's not in the zero cost ones okay okay i see how this is we'll go to bumby Nice, there we go. Although I was kind of hoping to do a little running around and find a sticker somewhere. Big Squirrel, are you alright? Things are so crazy, all that's happened here in Kasiwai. I can't believe the... Oh, sorry, you wanted more slots, of course. I apologize, give me a minute. I uh, got some more stuff. There, I got you a maximum I could. 330 Tim deck slots. Gosh, I hope it's enough. Uh, it, it definitely is. This is more than we need. So which of these do I want to bring into this? I really like you, but you are pretty cool. Please join my squad. Oh, we're all the way up to 11 boxes now. It should not take much longer. What's next on the list? Sepanku. I'm betting it's going to be Neo Edo. We shall see. Cool beans. Whoop. <laughs> I'm really going to enjoy this whole mount thing. Anytime in games, like in any MMORPG that I've played, getting the mount was always such a great moment. Even though a lot of the time they don't make you that much faster. Sometimes they don't even save you from random battles and whatnot, but, oh, it's always nice. Alright, where are you, dude? You hiding in a corner? And there you are again. By the pants on, you sure are an inveterate traveler, Big Squirrel. Yeah, people have been telling me that since I was a kid. Still am a kid, sort of. A special agent of the Congress and everything. Let me give you a hand. No big deal, I just assigned you some new Tim Deck slots, so now you can count on 450 slots in total. The very least I can do to support the Congress. I feel like this guy's voice has been changing as I go through here. Uh, it, he's going through some, some life events that we don't need to experience again. I feel a little bad for the guy. Awesome. This should be the last one, and it should be a very straightforward right in the middle. No, you are not here. Where are you? Oh, really? Really? Of course, you're back in Lockburg. You can't just make it easy on me, can you? And it says it, of course, over <laughs> over in the, the quest area that I have paid zero attention to. I'm just guessing. Oh, I'm not good at this. <laughs> I've never been good at reading quests. I miss so much stuff. Big squirrel, big squirrel, big squirrel. What a career, my dear. You must be the most successful tamer of your generation. Yeah, it's pretty much true. You know what I'm gonna do now? That's right. Get you some more Tim Deck space. Okay, thank you. And there you are, the maximum 600 tech Tim Deck slots. And there you are, the maximum 600 Tim Deck slots. Seriously, if you need more, just buy your own server. <laughs> uh, just joking. I'm a big fan of yours, boy. Uh, thank, thank you. Okay, I'd really like to go find some stickery things, but uh, I'm not sure where the stickers are stuck. Oh, wait. I see you. Is this what they look like? Yes. A Magmus. Ugh. Okay, damaged. Some stickers are going to be damaged, and there is somebody you can take them to. I'm trying to remember where that is. But they do exist. There's somewhere that you can trade your damaged ones for mint condition ones you can actually put in the book 
Um, I'm just wandering around right now to see if I can find more. So I think what I might do, and I don't think I've ever done before, is go into some kind of montage mode of just collecting stickers. Unless I can find several. Nope. It looks like there might be some other people running around doing the same thing. <laughs> okay, so I'm I'm gonna run around, see what I can find, and I don't think these are gonna necessarily spawn in all the same places for everyone. I have no idea. Maybe they do, and getting to see where I'm finding them will be helpful for you, but definitely, definitely suggest... Oh, there's one. Definitely suggest getting a mount before going and doing this. Oh, a damaged grumper. No good. Oh, no, stay on the thing. So I will see you when I've collected enough stuff for it to matter. And... Boop. I know I don't know how this other person has a different mount than me. It makes me so jealous. On the way up here. And we can see one of the new club things back there. Hey! The stickers aren't just of Tim's. Nice. They even have them in some of these shrines and whatnot. Ooh, an Endira sticker. Even in the sewers, there are stickers. Okay, I've been running around looking for these things for a while, and I haven't found that many yet. Like, <laughs> I gotta figure out what to do with these damaged ones. Also, this I'm finding kind of awkward. There's all these, these blank spots, and you have to go through and put them in place yourself. Uh, I was hoping these were going to be automatically added, because this is... There's 200 stickers. Uh, this is not a, a quick, fun thing for me, like I was hoping it would be, but then again, it's kind of fun to place them, I guess. But anyway, ooh, there's one. Just being able to find it is kind of cool. Yeah, that's not on here. So, yeah. I'm going to keep looking for stickers. I'm going to get to the initial 20, and I'm going to try to find out what it is you do with the damaged ones. Because there's got to be some way that you turn them... I know there's some way, somewhere, that you can turn them into stickers to actually put in here. So, I'm going to keep looking around, and I will see you in a few minutes. In case anyone's wondering where it is, it's it's in your key items right there. And I have... Oh, I have several I have not placed yet. Um. Yeah, I'm... This is basically how I've been doing it. I just... I'm not even trying that really it's gonna make a sound eventually that's not it that's somebody walking around it makes a sound and kind of lights up this is way easier on me like staring at this it just makes my eyes hurt eventually wait a second i know i have this one nice now you again this should be enough to get us to 20 if i can uh find your home where do you belong? Haha, -ha, there you are. Sapanku Kabuki. There we go. I think that's 20? Ah! I see you've taken the first steps. Nothing like seeing a new collection in the early days. So exciting. That's a solid start to your collection, Big Squirrel. I always found that breaking through the first 20 was worthy of celebration. I have a little thingy here you might like as a memento. Marbles. Just throw them around and watch your enemy slip and fall. When a rival enters the battlefield, they lose 15% max stamina and 6% max HP. This effect cannot knock out Temtem. That's pretty cool. Especially the stamina part. That can really mess up some people. By the way, I've been tracking a rumor I heard that you might find interesting. It's about a person who goes by Restaurateur, who, which I suspect might be a nom de guerre. In any case, uh, I've heard whispers about them in the collecting community. Apparently, they're a supremely skilled artisan and a specialist in restoring vintage paper items. Get my drift? Where can I find them? Well, that's the rub. They seem to be pretty elusive and hard to find. All I've heard is they've been working with a Tukmani collector. I'll find them. Good. It will make your collecting adventures more rewarding, I'm sure. As long as their work is solid. Thanks for the tip. My pleasure. Anything to see that sweet album completed. Like I said, I haven't had any direct dealings with this mysterious restorer, but I know one of my respected fellow collectors has a Quetzalenio called Metzli. He's your best bet for finding the restorer. Ah, and you would be in 
Quetzal. Which is... Wait, why is it showing like there's still... Oh, oh, collect 50 stickers for the next bit. I don't know how many I have. Uh, hmm. Definitely not 50. <laughs> I've got like six more. I feel like six might be a bit generous. Also, yes, I am going to look for stickers as I run through here because uh, they can be anywhere. I went all over. I think I've, I think I've gotten them all in Arbory, and Kisiwa. There we go. They are in the most random places. Uh, I haven't seen. I haven't looked in any like regular houses yet. Since we're standing here, let's go try one. Um, other buildings I've seen them in, or other things like I in the sewer and whatnot. Stuff that I wouldn't have expected. But yeah, they're they're kind of all over the place. Speaking of all over the place, where are you? Right there. I really want to find this restorer. There is one more quest that I'll be getting to, and I'm not exactly sure what it does, but it has something to do with the new auction house stuff. But not quite yet. Not now. But, uh, listen. Not. Now. The higher bombers are coming! N no T N O W Oh But I need I'm a friend of Faria and I'm trying to find the sticker restorer. Hmm. Out of courtesy to my fellow collector, I will deign to give you a minute of my time. In brief, I have never met the restorer. He always works through an intermediary, this young lad. Where can I find him? Usually comes around every month or so, quite regularly. Same days as the airships. I assume he has deliveries to make on other islands, and he comes and goes with one of the regular freighters. I'll head to the airship terminal, then. That is none of my business. I have only spoken to you as a courtesy to my respected fellow collector, Faria. Now please leave. Okay. So we need to go back up to where we were? Will it show us in here? Yes, it absolutely will. <laughs> it's not like I can even collect more stickers on the way over. Come on. Yeah, I do know just from what little information... Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yes, I can get stuff. Ooh, that makes me so much less confident that I found everything in Artbury <laughs> and Kisiwa. I mean, doing the stuff off camera does make it a little bit easier. Um, Let's see. Why are you looking at me like that big squirrel? Augustine, you're the restorer's middleman? Shh, not so loud. Yeah, I guess I am. How'd you find out? I have no idea what voice I was doing. I feel like I've changed this dude's voice like nine times now. Why the secrecy? You don't know these collector types. They're real sticker freaks. If word got around that I'm doing their pickups and deliveries, they would pester me no end. Gladio wouldn't like all that hassle. She knows about my side hustle and she's okay with it as long as it doesn't interfere with the normal running of the narwhal. Live and let live, but I have to ensure there's no disruption. Well, I'm looking for the sticker restorer. Huh, you're a real friend, Big Squirrel, and all that, but I'm not supposed to reveal their identity or lead anyone to them. It's a matter of trust, you see. Although, I guess it's okay for me to ask them if they would like to meet you. Listen, when all this craziness subsides, meet me in Arbory, okay? Then we'll see what I can do. The craziness has well past subsided, my friend. I think this will get us into the right place. It should put us right next to him, too. There we go. Big Squirrel, how are you doing? Need a lift? Um, here we are. Where can I find the sticker, Restorer? Gee, aren't you insistent? It's important. I must complete my Stick Tim collection. Ah, uh, huh, okay then. So like I said, I'm just a delivery boy, and to be honest with you, I've never really met the Restorer in person, so I don't know where they are or who they are, really. Oh, how do you handle the goods, then? They're very paranoid about their privacy, it seems. So my instructions are to collect parcels from different spots in Arbory, changing every time. Sometimes they're behind a rock, other times inside a hollowed-out tree. This week it's supposed to be some old crates in Lockburg. My instructions say they'll be by the pier, close to the lock. Perhaps you can go there and see if you spot someone collecting them? Fine, I'll go to Lockburg. Ugh. We got to travel all over the place. That's okay, we can do it quickly. And not that button. This button. Um, up there. You're not too far away. This is where we... 
This is basically where we found our first sticker. Okay. Hmm, so this is the spot where Augustine would pick up the packages from the elusive store. Wait, are these footprints in the mud? They lead towards that house by the pier. Um, um, all of these houses are by the pier, but I guess this is the closest. Oh, that's a lot of people. This has got to be the right place. I don't know you, and I am quite busy. Please leave, stranger. You're the sticker restorer. I am not. Oh, bother. I knew this day would come sooner or later. Fine, I admit it. I am the restorer. But I still value my privacy too much to tolerate intrusions like this one. On guard, interloper! What? I did not think this would involve battle. Oh, well, I'm not too worried about it. But <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. Um, oh, yeah, absolutely, we're fine. I don't know if we'll be able to one-shot these. Yeah, they're not weak to what we got. Oh, come on. I see that you got six Tims. Are they just all of these dudes? And we basically... Oh, man. We're gonna... Uh... Yeah, we're gonna have to fight every single type of Tawai evolution. Um, sure. Toxic gas, because why not? It's only gonna do half its normal damage, but it's still pretty strong. Hopefully. I don't think using a crystal type move would do great against Tawire anyway. I can't remember how that works out between those. <laughs> Thank you, Kino. That benefactor move has been so great for me. Hello, Tolkien. Oh, you are gonna be awful for all my peeps. That's even worse, because now they don't hit as hard. Uh, mm, Tawire's gonna start hurting itself, so we can do that. Do I... Yeah. Yeah, let's Diamond Fort. I want Tort Knight to just stand there and hit things. Look pretty. You're already not taking much damage. Oh, uh, you hit the wrong one. You're supposed to hit the one that's tougher. Oh, well. Learned your lesson. Nice. Uh, Kinu's probably going to have to swap out. Toolvine! Yeah. Oh, well. Hi, Tolkien. I've got one of these as well. Um, I don't want you knocking yourself out, bud. I believe in you, Tord Knight. I believe in you so hard. Yep. <laughs> You're just gonna not take damage. Um, ugh, that's none of this is gonna be a good idea, but whatever. Uh, Tolkien's gonna start knocking itself out, and toxic gas. Decent, nothing special. I think two vines should have been a plant-based one, though. Now that I'm thinking about it. I can't... I don't know the name of that one. I don't know what that's a reference to, but with vine in it, it sounds plant-like, not crystal. Whatever. Tutsu. The melee type. Ugh. Um. Yeah, let's go ahead and just take one out. And... Hmm... I don't know. I feel like Tort Knight can just stand there and be fine. Come on. You got this. I believe in you. <laughs> I was almost no damage. I love that. Let's see. This is your hardest hitting. It's not going to do great, though. I guess just for the interest of time, we can swap something out. I don't know if this is going to actually speed up our battle or not. Uh, Tolkien has overextended itself, so yeah, it'll help. Okay. Hmm. 
Mm hmm. Mm hmm. No big deal. Chilling out, and then beta burst. Nice, nice. Ah, oh, defeated in my own home. I after my collection of vintage boots. Maybe. I do like fashion. Fine, you found me and you can fight, but why should I trust you enough to do business with you, eh? Um, I come highly recommended. Oh, yes? In other words, who sent you? Ah, uh, I hate when they do this kind of stuff. For, for, for Ahe? Where does she live, uh, Brasal Damar? That's so, hmm, what color is her hair? Oh, no! White, at this point, I think. What's the first thing on the left-hand side as you enter her house? I hate you so much right now. What is the airspeed velocity of an unladen pajaro? Can see when? No, I can't. This. Uh, I don't know. I don't know you. I don't know who you work for, and I have no reason to trust you. Go away now. Urgh! Okay, okay. We're trying this again. Reham. Countryside. White hair. Shield. You see one thing. Okay! Finally! I've been going through and just trying every single thing. Technically, the sword, the shield, and the Saku plushie, they're all immediately to the left of the door. And, um, yeah. So, Friha, Countryside white hair, shield, which type of thing, I think was the magical combination. I'll put it in the, in the, in the description one way or another. Oh, that was, that was miserable. That took me so long to get that one figured out. Okay. So you are working with Free, huh? I must admit she's a serious collector and a respectful one. She's never pestered me, unlike the others. Perhaps it is time I offer her my services. Have this as a little thank you for opening up this new avenue of business. Got a learning aid. Okay. And now, I can help you with anything else. Perhaps you're a collector yourself. Uh, big squirrel, I suppose you have some stick tim stickers for me to take a look at. Uh, can you repair this sticker? Okay. So I need to find something that I have two of, which... Oh, I did not realize how many I have one of. I saw Kinu there. Huh. I wonder why it won't let me choose some of them. Maybe I already have them? I don't have a whole lot of doubles on these. That's sort of good, sort of annoying. <laughs> yes, I think I can help. You have another one of the exact same type? Yes. Why do I need to do that? Um, I mean, it's not the worst thing. I just need to remember the name, but I would think I, you know, I need two of them so I could pick two of them. Fine, this will just take a minute. Received a Kinu sticker. Oh, that's pretty cute. Here you are. Anything else? Um... Have a nice day. And you, and you, Big Squirrel. Okay, so I can now put a Kinu sticker. Oh, I do have quite a lot of these. <laughs> Somewhere in here. I don't know where this goes. Let's try the, the tried and true method. And while I'm doing this, uh, I will say I wanted... I, w I would really like to be able to go through, get all the stickers, and be able to tell y'all exactly what everything is, all of the rewards, that is going to take me days. <laughs> it, was, it, it took me hours just to get through Arbory and Kisiwa. And, ugh. I know some of them are going to probably be worse than that. There you are. So, yeah. Actually, I think I already have a Calibus somewhere, don't I? It's up here somewhere. So maybe I got my first double that I could trade off to... Oh, no, I don't. I just got your, uh... Whatever that is. Kalazoo. Huh. Cool. So I haven't overlapped too much on stuff that I already have, but yeah. Wow. That was almost physically painful. Uh, we do have one more stop that I want to make before we, we wrap it up for this one. Um... I want to go check out this auction house thing. Which should be easy enough to do. We just have to run over there. Uh, I don't know what kind of quest it's going to be. I just want to make sure, you know... If there's some kind of quest associated with it, I'm going to do the quest. I want to make sure everybody knows what's going on with that. Um, Yeah, it's just up here and a little to the right. 
something. There's something somewhere. Hiya. Are you here to register? Uh, sure, why not? So let's get started. Uh, name? Big Squirrel. Excellent, thank you. Let's log you in. And you're all set. You can use any terminal. Just press your thumb on the screen and it'll log into your account. Happy trading. Cool. Interacting with one of the computers located at any trade house allows you to access the market screen where you can see all the current Temtem and items other users are selling. Bidding in an auction allows you to offer a bid more than its current price, but you can be outbid to buy another player. Okay, so normal auction rules. There's going to be stuff up there. There's probably, yeah, there is a buyout number and there is a bid number. You don't have to put a buyout. That's cool. It's probably better too, though. It'll go a lot faster if you do. Um, just my experience in other games. Yeah. I'm real. Ah, don't do that to me. I'm real curious if, um, there's one that nobody else is using. Not that it matters. I just don't want to stand on top of a bunch of people. So, in my experience, putting a buyout on things is a lot better in other games. Um, people tend to just want to like, okay, I want this thing. Let me buy it now. Instead of like, oh, there's a thing that maybe I can get it in three days. Um, I'm curious. Yeah, so you don't have to do the put a buyout number, but I would suggest that you do. Um, how do I... Okay, and it's not telling me straight away. I'm, I'm obviously I'm not gonna actually sell anything right now. I'm just looking through. I wanted to see if there's like any obvious stuff that says a maximum number, but I don't see anything. Yeah, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Oh, wow, this has been. <laughs> I have no idea how long this episode is gonna turn out to be, because this is this has been. Three and a half, four hours now that I've been recording, and this is probably not going to be more than 45 minutes. Hopefully less than that. I have no idea how much this is going to get cut. So, yeah. Um, that's a lot of cool stuff. I'm going to go back outside, though, because I want to be sitting on the Minox for this. There's some really cool stuff. I very much like... I think I saw another sticker spot. I, I very much like the mount thing. Um, that's got to be my favorite part of this update. Uh, the stickers are cool. I feel like that could be done better. There's a lot of people have talked about it. I mentioned some stuff earlier, you know, like the interface feels kind of weird. Those spots, those sparkly spots, sometimes you have to get off your mount, sometimes you don't. Uh, it doesn't seem to want to get it every time, stuff like that. And I would really like it if you could collect all of the stickers yourself instead of requiring trades because not everybody's going to want to um i i'm gonna struggle to have the time you know i i don't have the time to just like sit and play this game for hours on end um as much as i would like to but yeah i, I just think that the stickers could get adjusted hopefully they will be and storage expansion never a bad thing give people more room to do stuff i know that i was feeling the the crunch on that one when i was trying to do breeding stuff in particular but yeah, uh, that's going to do it for this episode. I don't think there's really much of anything else that I can cover. The the club-oriented stuff, I'm not in one, so I can't really show what that's going on, uh, what's going on there. And yeah, hopefully there's going to be another content update. I think they said there's going to be another layer, like the um, Anak Volcano and the whatever lake. I can't remember the what it's called. People just call it lake. I think there's going to be another one of those before the full release of the game. We'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to stop rambling now. That's going to do it for this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, consider doing the liking and the subscribing and whatnot. It really helps me out. That does it for this one. See you in my next video. Later.